Alright, so here we got the Iron Man Mark V looking all badass as always. And um, I'm very, very excited to uh, make this quick video review of the Mark V. As you can see, he looks very well detailed in the face and it's um has the exact likeness to to the Iron Man Mark V suit in the Iron Man Mark II film, which came out in summer of uh, 2010. And um, I must say, this is actually my favorite suit out of all three suits that were presented in the film between 4, 5, and 6. 5, to me, like, tops it all. Um, I mean, there's a special place in my heart with the, the Mark VI, but there's something so unique about the Mark V that it just a cut above the rest. As you can see right here, I, um, I put the Iron Man Mark V with the battle damage interchangeable... Um, pieces on whereas you can see right here on the chest he's got the the battle damaged um jagged uh jagged platings right here as you could tell he's got the whole little interior going on right there and you can see his abs a little circuitry right underneath and like the on top of the 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 armor has got like some melted burnt spots right there and like some shedding and looks like all badass and like the the paint looks all chipped right here and it's all like messed up looking I really love this like they did an excellent job with this figure I mean when it comes down to like battle damaged um interchangeable parts the mark 6 tops it all but like overall as a figure um I like the mark 5 just because of the simple fact that it's entirely different suit and um, like say for example you can tell with the mark 5 the paint apps is entirely different. I love how this time with the Iron Man suits, it's um instead of it being gold and red, this time it's silver and red, which I thought was a pretty nice touch that that the creators of Iron Man did with um with the with the Mark V. As you can see, it looks all nice. And as you can see, um right there through through the forearms and. And the biceps and the hands, the fingers, you can tell, you can notice the, the track suit that Robert Downey Jr. was wearing in the film in Monaco. And you can see right through his, uh, his forearms, you can see the little bit of um, blue paint apps that he's got right there going on. And the arm just looks, it just looks like demolished almost. You can even see the triceps and the chip paints, which I think looks pretty sick. And you can see the shoulder pad is nice and well detailed. It looks like all like damaged looking. The same thing on top is like is like lashes. It's like melted lash right there. Um, I love the circular arc reactor. I'm a I'm a bit of a more of a fan of the of the triangular arc reactor, but um I'm gonna show you in a bit how come I like this arc reactor a little bit more better. And it's pretty well proportioned. This this Iron Man suit is more proportioned than. Well, yeah, it is actually more proportioned than the Iron Man figures that that came out for the first movie. And I love how accurate, how well done and accurate this this figure is in comparison with with all the others because it is slightly bit more thinner than the Mark IV and VI. Because let's not forget the Mark V suit is actually supposed to be of a of a lightweight suit so of course like it has to have you know it has to look more agile in comparison with the other suits which I think is pretty awesome and uh, overall the paint apps is excellent for this figure the paint apps the pose abilities are pretty cool like I love the pose ability for this figure you can just like move up the arms like forward and side like it's got like some good you know articulation right there in the in the arms as you can see right here let me just zoom in real quick this part I thought was gonna be like like plastic but it really isn't it's like of a soft vinyl rubbery like material and as you can see you can just like move up the the arm you can see how like flexible it is which I thought was a pretty nice touch that Hot Toys did with this one of the cool accessory that this figure comes with is the LED um light up base which the the Iron Man Mark IV was packaged with and this acquires AAA batteries unfortunately the AAA batteries don't come with the figure you gotta buy them in your nearest local store 
and but it's it's cool. I'm I'm like I'm really not complaining too much about the whole AAA battery, but um I love how how nice and bright this is, and it's like you know it's a perfect you know it's a perfect combination with your Iron Man collection. And here it comes with the interchangeable um removable chest plate. This is the this is the regular chest plate that it comes already packaged in. And as you can see, it's very well done, nice and glossy. Just look at the paint as I'm telling you, like this is so beautiful and well done, I must say. So yeah, this is like the original chest plate that the figure already comes as packaged. I, I just showed off the, the battle damage parts instead because I, I preferred it that way. Some other accessories that it comes with are interchangeable hands. I like these because these are like and as opposed to like, you know, when Iron Man's about to like shoot the repulsors and you can see the the tracksuit fingers through through the mechanical part of the of the Iron Man suit. It looks pretty sick and it's nice and well burnt in detail right there. Just look at it, it is beyond beautiful. I love this figure so so freaking much. And of course we have the the finger articulated uh, Iron Man hands. You could just you know make them you know poses. Yeah, like peace, dude. Peace from the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> and of course um, the figure already comes like packaged with fists instead of like anything else. You know all these figures they they come like already packaged with you know wearing fists. Which um is pretty cool, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Also, it comes with uh, originally packaged. It comes with the 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 abs. This is like the 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 ab piece that you put onto the Iron Man figure. Be careful because these are actually very fragile. Like by accident, like I was using the little uh, plastic screw for the figure, and by accident, like a little tiny microscopic looking coil just like popped out of place. I'm trying to like put it back in place. It didn't break or anything like that. It just like loosened out and I'm just trying to put it, you know, back in place. And it's the figure originally comes with this arm. As an accessory, the the figure comes like on the side packaged with the battle damage mechanical arm, but like this is the original arm that the figure comes packaged in which uh you just Instead of having the the switch on right here like the Mark VI, the the switch is um right there and you can just boom like you can see how bright that is like this is one of the reasons why I love the Mark V just for the simple fact that the repulsors and the arc reactor piece is like even more brighter than that of the Mark VI and uh, that's another interesting uh, accessory and finally my favorite accessory of the Iron Man Mark V is the suitcase itself. My God, I love. I just love that scene where Tony Stark comes out of nowhere and he gets the. He steps on the the suitcase and he grabs it and attaches himself to the chest and it starts expanding and you can see all the little aspects and the particles, like and the flaps just flapping, you know, falling into place perfectly on Robert Downey Jr. Plus, it comes with the handcuffs, a pair of handcuffs where you saw um, John Favreau wearing like before. Uh, meeting up with Tony where he was trying to meet up with Pepper Potts first and then he, he just um, took the suitcase but unfortunately it doesn't open or anything like that but I love it it's, it's a very well you know it's pretty well accurate it has accurate scaling with with the one six scale figure and you know if you're into that whole customizing a Robert Downey Jr. figure a Tony Stark action figure then you know this is a perfect fit for that and moving on Okay, so finally, I want to just show off the, the Iron Man Mark V with the LED lights on. The The eyes are magnificent. The the arc reactor piece, it is incredibly, incredibly bright. And com even more brighter than in comparison with the, the Mark VI. I love it. It is phenomenal. The pulsers in the hands, they're like incredibly like sick. Like, like just look at them. I love the repulsors. That's like the best feature of the the Iron Man Hot Toys figures are the repulsors and the LED lights. You know, like Hot Toys just keeps getting better and better at it. Hopefully, eventually in the near future, I'll get the the milk or the special version, whatever you want to call it, War Machine figure because I missed out on the original War Machine. But you know, you gotta work with whatever you can get your hands on. You know, because I'm not looking forward to spending over like 
more than three hundred dollars on a war machine figure. I just you know get the regular one. I mean not the regular one. I just get the the milk version. And like you can just see right there, like damn, like I really, I'm about to have a loss for words for this figure because like this, I am so psyched. I am honestly psyched to have this figure in my collection, and um, I really have nothing more to say for this figure. And um, uh, just leave comments, leave comments um, about my review. You know, let me know what you guys think. You know, what I should do better, or like, you know, is it good? You know, because me personally, I just you know giving out my thoughts and feelings about this figure, and you know, I appreciate those you know who who give me you know good critiques. You know, honest critiques, and um, you guys rate and subscribe to my channel if you like, and stay tuned for for my Superman Christopher Reeve video review, and that's it. You know, till next time, guys. So um, have a good day. This is Los signing off.